The new Chativity image generator is really insane. It's all about create, edit and transform. You can create any style, edit with in-painting, even add long text without spelling errors. Let me show you six use cases and at the end a live demo. A comparison between Mick Journey and Chativity. Let's go. ChatGPT has done it. Image creation, easier than ever before. Choose one of the available versions. It works with both ChatGPT 4.5 and GPT 4.0. To start creating images, first click on the three dots in the main prompt box and then on Create Image. Insert your prompt there and then click on the white circle with this arrow. It's that simple. For this tutorial, I have created a few examples to show you what is possible with ChatGPT. The first use case is about a book title. In addition to these two people in the style of the 80s, the illustration also shows a very striking title, This is AI Time. But that was just the starting point. The next prompt transforms our cover into a comic, with this interpretation in the style of The Simpsons. It's already getting incredible. If you add, place this cover on a book and create a photorealistic point of view image showing the hand of a person looking at this book, you can clearly see the cover and the implementation follows my prompt exactly. In the second use case, I wanted to try out how ChatGPT independently implements different subjects on a so-called educational poster. In this case, different alien species, realized with watercolors. As a board game fan, the next step was clear to me. Create a set of playing cards with different levels. ChatGPT understood this by itself. The simplest is the farmer, and the boss warrior is the highest. The strength points were assigned accordingly. In the next round, it would be turn the boss warrior into a black card. As the characters currently all look the same, I wanted ChatGPT to give each one a special feature. The farmer gets a hat, the soldier a light helmet, the knight a massive titanium armor. ChatGPT should also add something to the boss warrior all in a futuristic alien style. Of course, a farmer's hat doesn't look particularly futuristic. Perhaps he stole it from a poor human. But the different characters are modelled very distinctively. Before, the characters didn't wear any clothes. Now the outfit matches the respective title. You can see how easy it is to optimise existing images with the right prompt, and all without having to pick up a paintbrush. When I talk about the farmer, ChatGPT understands that it is the figure on the top left. In the third use case, I travel to one of my favourite destinations, Iceland. The prompt reads, Create an image of the coast of Iceland with a whale jumping out of the ocean. The basic image is impressive in itself, but now it's getting really exciting. I wanted a book title. By the way, ChatGPT seems to understand that it should generally use a portrait format for a cover. For this cover, I deliberately wrote a very long text to test the limits of ChatGPT. Even this long headline, jumping whales seen in the ocean next to Iceland, but they don't know what to do there. Do you want to help them? Works without any problem. It is exactly the text I entered. But now I put the icing on the cake. My hunger for more was awakened. The next prompt describes a photorealistic image of a vehicle lettering on a Mercedes-Benz van in side view. Please place this cover on the vehicle. And you won't believe the result. It really is extremely impressive. The text layout is adapted to the vehicle and the image is extended in a very smart way. Unique, not to say insane. The next use case takes us into the world of fantasy, to the orcs. Here is the starting image. A desert, an orc and this orange polo shirt. But that wasn't enough for me. Now the fashion show begins. My first customization was add a blue baseball cap. Here's the baseball cap in blue. Then why a blue polo shirt? I hadn't ordered that. And the change of clothes continued. Give the orc a white polo shirt with red dots, just like we know it from the mountain champion in the Tour de France. And here is this polo shirt. A mountain champion needs a lot of energy for his sprints. So add an explosion behind the orc in the image. And here is the explosion. And then hang a sign around the orc's neck with the text. 
I need subscribers and watch time. Please. By the way, this sign is a little reminder to all those of you who would still like to press subscribe. Perhaps you would also like to watch this tutorial to the end. Many thanks for this. If we take a neutral view, everything is perfect here. The background, the orc with the clothes and the shield with the shadow, and all without any previous knowledge of design whatsoever. You just have to describe it. For the next use case, I was guided by a very long prompt. In essence, it's about this lion sitting in the savannah. You can see his reflection in the water, and he is drinking. A very beautiful image, but that's not enough. My modification was, make the water frozen, and the lion's tongue should stick to the ice. And this is the result. You can clearly see the consistency of the lion. You can also see the ice surface, and indeed, the tongue is frozen to the ice. The poor lion. Everything exactly according to the prompt. In the last use case, I jump into the Middle Ages. I implemented this image of a medieval town with a market square, castle and flags, all at the time of the so-called golden hour. The follow-up prompt was, show me the picture after a tsunami. You can clearly see the destruction. If you look closely, you can see that it is still the original image with the towers and the flags. Incidentally, ChatGPT has a special feature that helps you to modify only selected parts of the image. To do this, first click on the image of your choice. This will enlarge it. A brief insight into the functions. With the X at the top left, I can close the image again. You can like or dislike it, and you can also download it. And then there's the select feature, which allows you to select only certain areas of the image. It's like in painting. In this example, I've added a happy smiley. That's the result. This allows you to refine images further and further. I recently heard in a post that the CEO of Midjourney complained about the speed of the ChatGPT image generator, and certainly rightly so, because at the time of recording this video, it took ChatGPT between one and three minutes to create a new image. So I thought, why not do a live demo between Midjourney and ChatGPT? For both platforms, I use the same simple prompt, a happy panda eating ramen noodles. This means, for both platforms, enter this prompt in the prompt box and press start. I do the same with Midjourney. Click on start. The status of the process is immediately shown in the display. I'm using GPT-40 for this test. This is now all live and unedited so that we can see a direct comparison. What's a bummer about ChatGPT is that it doesn't show how long the image creation will take. If I jump back to Midjourney, we can clearly see the rapid speed because the images are already finished. I press rerun again so that we can see the creation status, 10%, then 20%, and so on. This gives you at least a little orientation. As I said, with ChatGPT, we don't see that. You just see this slow, let me call it that scanner panel that exposes the image. With ChatGPT, it takes almost two to three minutes per image. This is probably because the number of requests is currently very high. It is also possible that the process is canceled with ChatGPT, or you have to wait 10 minutes until it's your turn again. Quite annoying. If we first look at the results at Midjourney, one thing is relatively strange. Here we see the result of the happy panda with its noodles. On the one hand, all the images in a very illustrative style, and in the other version, rather drawn to painted. Despite the identical prompt, you would have to make further prompt specifications to keep this more consistent. At ChatGPT, it is still in the status, adding details. Okay, now it's done here too. If we compare the results of both platforms with each other, then there are relatively good images regardless of whether you like this theme or not. The basic prompt was understood by both platforms. Anyone familiar with Midjourney knows that you can refine images via the editor, and that's exactly what we're doing now. Let's just use the selection tool to highlight the noodles and specify that this area is removed or modified. I want the panda to eat something more healthy. That's why the new prompt statement in both platforms is simply Apple. I write that in into the prompt box. I'm curious to see what comes out of it. I'll press return and then hopefully we'll see what ChatGPT does with it and how long the change will take. 
I also enter Apple in the prompt box of Midjourney. In Midjourney, this is on the far right. Let's compare it directly with each other. With Midjourney, the realization already begins. And with ChatGPT, it also starts. By the way, it's interesting. If you see this kind of, I'll call it, color signature, we know the execution is running. If you only see the white icon on a dark background, then ChatGPT has not yet been able to execute the process and start working. That means you have to wait. With Midjourney, that was clear. The result is already finished. A cute panda hugging its apple and being very happy. Three out of four pictures show an apple. One of them looks more like a cherry. ChatGPT is still lagging far behind. That's a real pity, because it doesn't motivate you to use this platform if you have to wait two to five minutes for the final result every time. ChatGPT makes it necessary for me to keep talking in circles so that time passes, but it seems to be slowly getting finished. Let's look at the opening image again. The famous panda with his pot of ramen noodles, the egg and whatever this is, probably onions or meat. Although it's not quite finished yet, we can already see an empty pot and a hearty grin. The empty pot is very well done. The panda is holding the apple in his hand. This realisation can be seen as artistic freedom. Let me refine this example again in a final round. To do this, I will mark the empty pot again. I would suggest I put a little kitten in there now, following the idea of two friends and one apple. I hope this happens a bit faster now so that it doesn't take too long. I'll do the same with mid-journey. We'll then see if the apple turns into a kitten. In my experience, mid-journey, in version 6.1, sometimes struggles to follow the instructions accurately. But it has to be said, mid-journey is really extremely fast in terms of speed. ChatGPT has already started the implementation. The picture with the empty pot and the apple looks really cool and stands out from the mass of similar pictures. You could use these two images in an AI video platform as start and end frames and watch how the apple turns into this soup. The new image still takes a while. With mid-journey, it is already finished. But, as indicated earlier, the problem here is that Midjourney does not understand the request. The platform didn't execute it properly. My default was kitten. And sure enough, Midjourney turned it into a ball. When we go back to ChatGPT, we immediately see the huge difference, which of course is awesome. Very impressive what ChatGPT has managed to do. The speed of Midjourney is a huge advantage but sometimes there are issues where the prompt is simply not executed, regardless of whether you try several times or not. I haven't actually used the ChatGPT image generator very often, but this example of the ramen noodles to the apple. To the kittens shows the perfect prompt adherence. If you have the opportunity to use the ChatGPT image generator, give it a try. You can expect great results. Start telling your story now. That's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for listening. See you soon. Your channel, AI, now you know. <laughs>